All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Latitude E7250. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the battery. So you just slide this over to the side, it pops the battery out and you can remove it just like this. The battery model number, if you need a replacement is VFV59. So here you can see VFV59, all right. Next thing we're going to do, we're just going to open the bottom cover. We're not going to take the whole thing apart. We're just going to take this cover out so you can see what's underneath the repair cover. All right, so there's only two screws here holding it into place. They're PH1 or JS1 screws. Once you've removed those screws, you can use the rubber feet to help slide this down like that, and then we can lift this out. <clears throat> so inside, you can see an M SATA SSD here. So it uses an older M SATA. All right, these are a little bit more pricey because they're harder to find. Um, but basically, you would remove that screw. It pops up slightly at an angle, and you can pull it out. Same way the RAM will pop out. If you pull these two tabs aside, the pops up, and then you can pull it out. There's only one stick in here. It's an 8 gig PC3L 12800S. So we're going to just go ahead and put this back. <clears throat> you can put any PC3L 12800S RAM. In theory, you can probably put other types of DDR3 memory. But um, to be safe, PC3L um, will for sure, or sorry, PC3L 12800S will for sure work. All right. So you can get two 8 gig sticks. If you want, you can get another one to make it even. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they have 16 gigs. They might, but it's, if they do, it'll be super expensive. All right. Anyways, you got the wireless card under here. I should to remove this on a lot of videos. So if you want to see that, you can watch those. Um, there's a WWAN, WAN, whatever you want to call it, wide area network uh, card slot here. Then you have the CMOS or BIOS um, RTC real-time clock battery here if you need to remove that for some reason. CPU is soldered to the motherboard, um, and it looks like you actually have to take this whole computer apart to get this out because it's underneath this extra layer of metal. All right, the LCD LVDS connector, you can remove it. There's one screw that holds this in place. You can swing this out and pull this metal um, piece out, and then you can pull the connector out. Um, if you need to pull the um, LCD LVDS connector out, keep in mind you do want to drain any residual power from the uh, motherboard after removing the battery. After removing the battery, by opening the laptop and then pressing and holding the power button for about 15 seconds. All right, the DC jack you can also. Um, pull this back. It's pretty tough. So I use a small flathead screwdriver to push on it while I'm kind of wiggling and pulling this. And it helps to also remove the LCD connector first. Um, but to actually replace the charge port, you will have to completely take apart the whole computer. I'm not going to do that. I just pulled this connector out and tested with another charge port and that didn't solve the issue there. Um, the charge circuit on this motherboard is messed up, so it doesn't actually detect the um, charger properly. So, yeah, the customer wanted me to check that, but this is a pretty old computer, so most likely at this point, because it is a motherboard issue, it's not going to be worth repairing. So we're just going to reassemble this and consider it not repairable. I mean, it can be used while plugged in like a desktop, but as far as replacing the battery, or not the battery, repairing the motherboard, um, it's most likely not going to be worth the cost to have that done, especially on a laptop that's so old. All right. So anyways, that's pretty much all there is that I'm going to show in here. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in. Hopefully you saw how I slid that in <clears throat> and then we just get the bottom in and click that in. But anyways, hopefully it helped you. If it did again, please make sure to like subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices helped you save a bunch of money again please consider contributing a little to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living other than that that's all there is to this thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one all right let's drop this bike